Hi guys, welcome back to Lou's Beauty Closet. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Lou, I post weekly beauty videos. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. And if you're already part of the fam, ring that bell so you don't miss out on any videos. And without further ado, let's get into it. Continuing the Zodiac makeup series, I am coming back with take a wild guess the aries look it is aries season guys if you've been feeling bold and adventurous and really like you can conquer the world it's aries season guys <laughs> didn't get a chance to catch the other zodiac looks i will link them up on the screen aries is the first sign in the zodiac and the or the zodiac astrological calendar if you wish the symbol for Aries is the ram and you guys are fire signs, you're really fiery. Red is the typical colour that is associated with Aries, so hence the red get up. And in terms of personality and quality wise, Aries people tend to be leaders, you tend to be courageous, confident, assertive, determined. You just have a sort of all round firecracker personality. And Mars is also the ruling planet for Aries as well. So enough of my rambling, time to see how I got this look okay guys hello this is a new angle so a bit close and zoomed into my face okay so first step i've got nothing on so we're just going to prime our eyelids so i'm using the urban decay eden eyeshadow primer potion so it's the nude one so i'm just going to grab some of that just taking just taking it on a brush and just priming my lid and then i'm just going to take a bit of translucent powder just to set that eye so that the when i put eyeshadow on it it doesn't cling to the to the primer and it actually um blends nicely so we're going into the huda beauty electric obsessions palette these are her mini ones this is one of the first ones she brought out and it's got all the colors in there so i love this one for that and we're going to take this cranberry shade here just down here this really deep deep red sort of now the only disclaimer is um i'm pretty sure there's red dyes and stuff in there so technically it's, i know in the states um red eyeshadow isn't safe for the eyes so it's more likely a pigment she doesn't have any disclaimers on the back of the palette but that's just something to be aware of so just be careful with red eyeshadows because technically they're not supposed to be used around the eye area but they are put in eyeshadow palettes so you they say you use it at your own risk i have used it i've not had any issues but just thought i'd let you guys know <laughs> i'm taking my sonia g builder pro brush and it's just a nice packing brush basically um so any brush that you're going to use to pack tap into this shade and we're going to pack it onto our outer v of our eye so i've just gone in with the eyeshadow tap off some excess and I'm just going to pack onto my outer V. So I'm just laying down the foundations at the moment and I'm also carving it up and because you guys know I have hooded eyes I do take my eyeshadow quite high up. So I'm just letting the edge of that brush also guide me. So I'm just going to stop where that is and I'm just going to go back into the shadow and just Fill in that gap in the centre as well. And I'm also going to just bring, bring it out a bit so it's more like a wing. So it's looking very pink at the moment. So I'm just going to go back into that cranberry shade and just keep on building. I'm doing it with my eyes open because then you can actually see where the colour is going. When you close your eyes and do it all the time, you don't really see where the colour is going. So I'm just building it up. And it's okay that it's not perfect because you don't want it to be a perfect line. You're going to blend it anyway. But see how it's kind of curved in. Then we're going to go with, um, I'm taking a crease brush. So I'm just taking my Sonia G Crease Pro brush into this coral shade and the same Electric Obsessions palette. And we're just going in with a crease brush, just go into it tap off the excess and we're going to blend the edges of this um sort of fuchsia burgundy shade and just blend the edges so we're just going to go here and at the top and we're just going to blend this and also where they meet where it's gone inside here we're also going to blend here In. so it's always best to go lightly and then build because if you go in you can never take away but you can always add mm -hmm. 
just taking a clean Zoeva 227. I'm just going to go in a little bit as well. And then I'm just going to use that 227, go back into the first shade we use, and I'm just going to add some more onto that outer V. shade we're using is um, a Makeup Geek shade so this is just in my own builder palette but it's Makeup Geek's flamethrower so I'll just show you guys like this it's pretty legendary for copper it's a foiled shadow basically so it's from Makeup Geek it's about five US dollars and to flip my Sonia G builder pro brush to the other side the clean side and we're just going to go into this foiled shadow so we're going to place flamethrower onto the center part of our lid just placing it down and it's okay if you overlap a little bit with the um, the initial cranberry shade we placed down so you help with the blending as well taking it a bit high as well about here just I'm gonna flip the brush back again and go back into that cranberry shade from the Huda Beauty palette I'm just gonna build In our corner that we've got bare with the primer still peeking through we're now going into a blush shade now you know you can use products that are meant for one side of the, top of the face in another area obviously just be caught just be cautious for example like lipstick near the eye area and things like that because obviously certain products can go on certain parts of the body but not others but I've done this before and I've had this done on me as well so we're just using this blush by MAC and it's called telling glow it's an extra dimension blush so it glows a lot this is featured in my 2017 favorites in like monthly favorites I've really loved on this brush and it doesn't really look like it but I have used it a lot wipe off my builder pro brush and we're just going into it's going to pack pick up this blush shade and we're just going to pack this onto the inner corner so now i'm just making it meet up with flamethrower and i'm just going back you can go back into it if you like go into flamethrower just place a bit there just to help with diffusing it and blending just taking that sonia g the crease brush and going back into that coral shade and just blending at the top see the difference that makes to switch to my pencil pro from Sonia G so I'm just going to stop about the start of my pupil of my actual pupil we're just going to stop there and then instead of putting shimmer I'm going to go into that bright coral shade and just put that on the inner part in a part of my lid and because with the inner corner we put that telling glow shade it will meet up with here okay now i haven't decided if i'm going to do eyeliner but i think what we'll do is we won't do black taking the swish brush from anastasia beverly hills and i'm going into this abh shade called aubergine it's just a really bur it's just really deep 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 burgundy matte shade or oh, it's got a bit of sparkle and we're just going to line our eyes with it so we'll see how that goes now sometimes when you do put liner on it and you have a look and you're like i kind of like how it looks but i don't know if i put liner if it's going to mess it up that's kind of me right now love it love it love it i haven't got a tight lining brush it's like in my pile to be washed so i'm just going to use this lip brush from zoeva 331 i'm just going to do the same use that same aubergine shade from anastasia beverly hills and i'm just going to line my waterline so i'm just going to repeat the same for the other eye and do my brows and then i'll come back to you guys quickly and we'll do my base and everything like that we're all done brows and mascara and lashes are done so i'm just going to do base so i am testing out a new foundation so sorry guys i can't share what it is at the moment i'm just using my hourglass foundation brush it doesn't look that bad i think on camera everything looks bad especially when it comes to foundation i think every time i've tried a new foundation on camera it always looks terrible well, I think it looks terrible. It's looking okay in real life. Okay, next is concealer using my standard Too Faced Born This Way concealer in Maple. So 
Alright, so I've just blended my under eye. So I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder in the translucent medium. And I am going to just set that under eye. So we're just going to repeat to the other side of my face. So I'm using my Galan Terracotta Bronzer. What's new, guys? What's new? There are some new bronzers that have dropped. What, so watch this space, because I'll probably be reviewing those. So I'm just taking my MAC 140. This is the short version, it's a special edition one. So just going to bronze up the perimeter of my face. And I'm shade nine in the terracotta, intense. So we're finished with bronzer, we're going to continue with our cheeks. I'm going to do um, glow first because if you go ham with glow you can always go in with blush so we're going to be reusing that blush color telling glow from mac the extra dimension blush it's like gold peach orangey kind of and i'm just going to take this ray morris brush sorry guys it's really not intentional that i'm using expensive brushes i just have found i've amassed a collection of nice brushes and i'm using them so this is the ray morris number one brush i'm just going to dip into it Tap off excess and just sweep it because this is a blush but it's really shimmery i like the tone so we're just going to sweep it here and i'm not just i'm doing my cheekbones but this whole area so just in like a c backwards c and then the remnants i just still like to run that over my nose another unorthodox item now if you watch my first impressions video you would have seen me use it this way so i've got the urban decay lo-fi lip mousse so we're going to be using this on our lips but we're also going to use it on our cheeks it's basically a cream product i love the shades and the colors so i'm going to use this nice natural hair brush again the same ray morris brush we're just going to dip into it slightly you can just place it on the back of your hand so you don't have too much And then we're just going to place it on our cheeks. And because we're going really light, we're not pulling off the foundation underneath. This is what the back of my hand looks like and that's what my face is looking like. And then whatever's left on my brush, I also like to run on my nose, not too heavy handed. A bit of blush on the nose actually looks nice. I know I sound crazy, but I just like to run it along my nose just really lightly because we've used that glow the blush as a glow and blush we've put it underneath so it's giving it that nice so the red is peeking through but it's also catching some of the glow so it's just like a really nice sort of tangerine kind of glow so i'm all for multi-purpose use of products because then you're getting bang for your buck you know so we're lining our lips with mahogany from mac Then we're going to fill it in with Amplify from the Lo-Fi Lip Mousse and Amplifier. Comes with a little applicator at the bottom that peeks out as well. All right, guys, so that this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, you know, with red, there's not really many eyeshadows that are red and a lot of them have that red pigment that aren't really supposed to be used near the eyes. So you usually have to lean towards red oranges. So I guess this was red-ish, but it's kind of come out a little bit pink as well. But I really enjoyed it. And this, you know, and also because it's airy season, just being bold and, you know, out there and confident is actually quite nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. All the products I use, I'll link below. And if there's, if I can't find the link, I'll just link an alternative. I also link the zodiac playlist in the description box down below if you didn't get a chance to catch that so if you're an aries comment below if you're not an aries still comment below i'd love to continue the discussion down in the comment section also guys if you are an aries would you wear this look or did i do you guys justice love to love to know on your way out if you're not already i'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and become part of the fam and if you are already subscribed ring that bell so you don't miss out on any videos and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, guys. It really means a lot and helps when deciding what content to make for you guys. And if you didn't get a chance to catch last week's video, quick, go have a look. There might be a surprise waiting for you in that video. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. And I can't wait to see you back here again. Bye. So you tend to have to lean towards red oranges. Also link the play... Just everything. Okay, the tap runs. What else? Do you want to drill now? Might as well drill now. Thank you.